Alrighty, let's see what we got. Oh, but first, ads. I uh, want to check the audio on my stream, but I can't, can't do that without seeing, like, what is this? A minute long ad? That's fine. That's good. I mean, it's my stream, but of course I want to see ads on it. Right? That's good stuff. Right? So the game's a little bit loud. Give me just a moment. I'm going to turn it down like a decibel or two. we go so yes hello welcome to the stream i like dragon quest so here i am playing another stream today even though i already streamed a dragon quest game earlier but you know what i'm a-okay with that dragon quest is a swell series so let's uh let's do it again wait a minute i forgot my water i'll play the i'll play the damn game eventually Okay, sorry. I, I had to get my water. I could already feel throat crust. You don't want that. <clears throat> yeah, I streamed for, what, four hours earlier? So I'm a little... A little tired in the throat area. You'll have to excuse me if I sound a little hoarse. But I just, I really wanted to play this. I've been waiting for this demo for a while because... I mean, I already played Dragon Quest XI. I love it. It's great. I can't wait to experience it again, but with bonus stuff. Also, I named my character stupid names based on the number of the game. This is Eleven, so his name is Levin. Ha 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 ha. So here we go. Only 3D mode is available in the demo. Please select 3D mode. Both modes are available in retail version. And why give me the option? Are you sure you want to play in 3D mode? Yes, I'm pretty sure. Why not begin by adjusting the various system settings to your liking? English. Normal, normal. Automatic camera off. I don't like automatic camera. Um. Da -da. Just a tiny bit brighter. Just a tiny little bit. So here we go. Yeah. Again, big fan of the Dragon Quest games. I am excited to play Eleven again, even if it is just this demo, which I read is 10 hours long? That is a hell of a demo. So this is going to be multiple streams for a demo, which, I mean, that's fine. It gives you a good chunk of the game to decide whether or not you want it. It's better than, like, the demo being a tutorial and then it's nothing. Like, here's a five-minute demo of dialogue. Did you have fun? Oh, no, not this music. It's making me all excited. Oh no, but rain means ominous. It's not all happy fun times in Dragon Quest Kingdom. I forget the name of this kingdom, actually. This child is the one. There's the mark. There's no mistaking it. Hmm. 
Why does the baby have whiskers? That is bizarre. Someone remove those quickly. Oh, who left the stove on? Okay, sorry. I'm just... I'm a little bit giddy. I'm a... Like I've said, a big fan of this game. I'm excited to see the bonus stuff. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to see any of it here. But, you know, it's still fun to look forward to. Again, the, the Headless Knights always creeped me out. It's the faces on the shields. They're so agonized looking. I don't like them. <clears throat> This cutscene is gorgeous. I don't remember it looking this good on the PS4. Oh then again, I probably, I probably just don't remember very well. And after that awful storm too. However, did you survive? Oh, you're a jolly one. Who's this? Oh, you poor thing. Come here. Come here. There's no need to be frightened anymore. You're safe now, little fellow. There she is. There's Iggy. Yggdrasil. Several years later. Oh, you can totally see a little bit of crust. Oh, there's quite a bit of crust, actually, compared between this and the PS4 version. But that's to be expected. It is... it is the Switch. Thanks so much. You're a lifesaver. Trust me to lose my headscarf just before the big ceremony. So it's finally here, the big day. I can't believe we're going to be climbing all the way up there. Hmm? Alright, that dog is my new best friend. <laughs> Looks like Sandy's keen to lead the way. I love that dog. Come on, best not keep her waiting. Yeah, I like her more than you. <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to be rude, but dogs are cool. Dogs are, like, objectively better than people. I'm one of them. But here we go. Ooh, yeah, it looks... Um... It looks passable. Oh, God, if... Seriously, if this didn't have bonus content, I would be playing it on the PS4. Which is a shame, because it... This is a very nice-looking game, but... It... Like this, it's only good. <clears throat> That's fine. You know the mayor and your mother are waiting to see you off the top of the steps, don't you? Don't keep them waiting, dear. Oh, and remember, if you're ever in need of some advice or you're stuck for what to do, have a chat with folks with pretty pink speech bubbles above their heads like me. Just press Y and look at the map. You can't miss us. While you're looking at the map, use R to change the direction you're facing. It's a handy little trick, trust me. Otherwise, you won't be able to progress in the game. You'll just be stuck. Okay, I gotta mute. I need to cough.
I have deflimmed. I feel much better. I keep jumping instead of pressing the talk button. Just look at you, Levin, my little boy all grown up. Now be sure to look after Gemma, you hear? To think you've been inseparable since you were tiny. And here you are, about to climb to tour together. Oh, and if ever you lose your way, just follow Sandy. That dog's got more sense than any of us. Off you go now, dear. I know the two of you will be just fine. And I'll make sure there's a delicious supper waiting for you when you get back. Good. Good, happy little family. I guess. They're gonna knock it all down, probably. Levin, seeing you and my dear Gemma all set for your big day makes me proud as anything, both as a mayor and as a grandfather. You're not kids anymore, you know. No, you're grown up now, and that means going to tour and offering your thanks. Now, it's time you went on your way. Head up to the top, give praise to the spirit of the land, then come back down and tell us how you like the view. Oh, and if you ever are unsure what to do next, try pressing X and selecting Party Talk. Gemma might have some useful tips for you. Neat. Show us the way, doggo. <clears throat> Who carved that? That's probably slimes. Humble folk of cobblestone, great land spirits, hearth and home. That's how it goes, isn't it? My granddad's been teaching me the prayer ever since I was little. He reckons the spirit of the land really does live on cobblestone tour, you see. As long as I can remember, he's been preparing me for this day. The day it would finally be my turn to climb all the way up there and offer my thanks. I just wonder whose idea it was in the first place, sending the village's young folk on such a dangerous errand. What if I take a tumble and do myself a mischief? Then you die, and you're not fit to be an adult. Well, not to worry. Since you and me were born on the same day, I'm lucky enough to have a bodyguard along for the journey. Come on then. That craggy old thing won't climb its... Oh. Uh-oh. Is it Munsties? Oh shit, it is. It's Slimes. I think we'll be okay. Ah! Monsters! They're coming this way! Not Slimes! Oh, that's right. You have to set it to classic attack mode. I think I'm going to do that. I don't like this. This weird... You can move around however much you want. I don't know. It just seems unnecessary and confusing. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm totally going to change this. I don't like it. There's also a way to make the battle go faster. Somehow. Like they added that to this version, didn't they? Oh my god, Gemma, shut the fuck up. Yeah, I really do not like the way that looks. Crikey, I wasn't expecting that. I know they were only little, but I'd have been done for if you and Sandy hadn't been here to help me. Now we've got to go through that horrible, dingy cave. Just our luck. I'll bet you anything that's where those awful things came from. Well, as long as you're with me, I've got nothing to worry about. Come on, let's get going. Hee <laughs> hee. Sorry, that face just screamed. Tee hee. Whoa. Eh. <clears throat> okay. Uh, miscellaneous system settings battle mode classic camera let's set the speed to ultra fast because I love Dragon Quest but I've already beaten this game and I played a Dragon Quest game earlier today let's make the fights go a touch faster by touch faster I mean as fast as fucking humanly possible just to you know get through the stuff and again 10 hour 10 hour demo this is a long demo. This is a short game. This is not a demo. You could very easily get this demo and be satisfied. As it were as if it were a game. Like a short indie title. That is assuming the article I read is correct, and this is actually, you know. 
as long as it says. Oh, hey, let's go up here, though. There's a... I'm assuming there's bonuses of some sort. Perhaps treasure. Indeed, there is a treasure. It is... Medicinal herbs. Blaze it. Is the obvious joke that I'm not going to make, because I'm... I was going to say better than that, but that sounds really pretentious and dickish. m m monsters But I don't think they've spotted you yet. You should sneak up and try to surprise them. Get close to a monster, and a small orange yellow will appear just above them. Press A. It'll give them a weighty wallop with your weapon, lowering their HP before battle's even begun. Oh yeah, that's something that added to this. You can get surprise attacks. They're too stunned to move. Yeah, I like classic way better. Also, this is too fast. I know I just said, hey, let's make it as fast as possible, but you know, I've made many mistakes in my life and that sentence is one of them. So we're just gonna, we're gonna make this just fast. Uh, music, sound effects, wait, no. I can't change volume of voices? Oh, nope, there we go. I like to make the sound effects and vo uh, music just a touch lower than the voices. You know, I want it to be easy to hear the dialogue. Yeah, that's that's manageable. That's fast, but not stupid. Then again, I'm pretty sure later on in the game I'll totally be using... Ultra fast, almost exclusively. Blighters, aren't they? I'm not done with you. Get back here, bitch. You deign to stand in my way, then you die. What did she say? Plums? Go on. You can do it. Oh, cool. You can change the speed in the middle of a fight. That's nice. So if a particular fight seems to be taking much too long... You can just go, all right, ultra speed. Enough of this nonsense. I'm so proud of you. A new spell was learned. Frizz. Neat. Gemma, you are doing almost nothing but cheer us on and scream. Again, the dog is cooler than you. Am I being a little bit harsh? Nah, dogs are cool. I'm sorry, but they are. I like dogs. And if you don't like dogs, well, that's your prerogative. But I like dogs. I don't like this thing though, so we're going to we're going to rid the world of its disgusting creepy face. Don't hit the fucking dog. What's wrong with you? Vile creature. Oh god, Jenna, you speak too much. Blighters, aren't they? Maybe I should actually turn voices down to zero because Jimma makes me want to stick a fork through the roof of my mouth into my brain. Oh, hey, treasure. It's copper. Neat. I can actually use that for alchemy and whatnot. Oh god, Gemma. Girl, please. Tough little blighters, aren't they? <clears throat> you make you make me you give me the Ajda, the heartburn. What just stop. Stop speaking. Yeah, probably. <clears throat> Help! Help me! <gasps> Cole! Ah! Help me, I have a terrible haircut. Ah! Quick! You have to help him! Won't you fucking help him? 
Some smogs draw near. Watch out. Oh, I should probably be using Frizz. I'm assuming these guys can resist physical stuff. Or they resist physical attacks. You can do it. So let's try Frizz on Smog B. Soon! Yeah, it's moderately better. Ow. Yo, Jimmy, you think you could heal or something? You Thank you. That is helpful. See, Je Jenna, Gemma, what's your name? You can be helpful by doing anything. I am now out of MP. Don't give up. Oh, shit. Good stuff. Here I was talking smack on Gemma, and she's doing something. Tough little blighters, aren't they? Well done. I'm sorry, Gemma. I only came up here because I thought it'd be funny to jump out and surprise you. But then those monsters appeared. What in the world is going on? I never heard anything about monsters appearing on the tour before. But never mind that now. Whatever were you thinking? You could have been killed. You take Sandy and get back to the village. What? This no, I need her. Y yes, Gemma. Sorry, Gemma. Well, now we're fucked. You saved my bacon again. I knew you were tough, but crikey. You really have grown into quite the hero. Not far to the top now. Oh, typical. It would have to go and start raining, wouldn't it? Come on, let's get a move on. This does seem like a needlessly dangerous tradition. Like, wh wh who designed this? Oh, hello, McSqueak. Yes, I am back. What do you mean, oh no? You can't watch this? Okay, that's fine. Don't watch this then. Close your eyes. Just listen to my sweet voice, my sweet crust throat. Because my my throat hurts <laughs> from streaming for four hours earlier. Yeah, this is needlessly dangerous. Look at this shit. You just became adults. Now you're probably gonna die. <laughs> I think the idea is uh, you're either tough enough to survive the challenges the world is going to throw at you, or you die young before life can turn to shit. That is the tradition of the tour. I mean, it doesn't matter if you watch or not. There's going to be more streams. Apparently, this demo is long. Like, ten hours? If I... That is, if the article I read is not bullshit. Which it may or may Here not be. We are at last. <clears throat> it's such a shame about the weather. I was really looking forward to that view. We better say the prayer and get this ceremony over with, eh? What? What was that? Oh no. <laughs> it's a silly looking bird. <laughs> My one weakness. How in the hell? Gemma, come on. That was pathetic. Help me! Help! Levin, let her go. It's for the best. She's holding you back, man. Save me, plot device. Neat. No, that's good eat. Get that thing. Catch it. <laughs> We're alive. But how? 
Wow! That, that great big flash of lightning. It was almost like you made it happen. Oh uh, yeah, it's a spell. Zap. It does lightning damage. Look, the mark on your hand. You're going to need a cream for that. Huh? <clears throat> oh, it stopped. Well, we can worry about that later. All I know is that you saved me yet again. I don't know what I'd do without you. Be dead. Now, we really had better be finishing up this ceremony. Humble folk of cobblestone, great land spirits, hearth and home. Lift your voices up in prayer, sing it across all our drear. Blessed are we since days of yore, let it be so forevermore. Mark on your hand. It's the Triforce. Yeah, pretty much. It's something like that. This is the part of the ceremony where you jump off the cliff, and if you live, you're considered an adult, and if you don't, you're considered a corpse. Because you are. This game is awesome looking. On and on and on. I wish the bonus stuff were on the PS4, though. Whoever dreamed up this ceremony must have had this in mind. They wanted to show us how huge our world really is. It's all over, and now we're grown-ups. Should we head down and tell Grandad and everyone? No. Then I'll be waiting for us at the bottom. Oh yeah, this, that's a cool new addition to this game. You can jump. It almost is never useful, but it's fun. I remember when I played this, I would just jump around like an idiot, because, I mean, why wouldn't I? Look at him. He's having such a good time. And you can sprint, which is a godsend. There's a few parkour moments. Like, in some of the towns, you can jump over roofs and stuff to find a few goodies, but it's... It's just... It's not really necessary. It's just a kind of there. We're back safe and sound, Grandad. Indeed you are, my dear. Thank the spirits for that. When we saw lightning striking up there, we got a little worried, I have to tell you. <laughs> Levin explains what happened to t on top of the tour. <laughs> well, I never. Sounds like it's nothing short of a miracle that you made it back in one piece. Well... There's no doubt about it. The spirit of the land <clears throat> was watching over you. Now tell me, my dear, how was the view from the top? Oh, it was wonderful. I saw the sea stretch into the horizon and the sunlight playing on the water and... Oh, I've never seen anything like it in my life. <laughs> You're true cobblestonians now. Only we have the pleasure of looking out over the world of Erdria in such breathtaking fashion, you know. You're still young, and the day may yet come when you decide to leave cobblestone behind. I hope our little ceremony has opened your eyes to a little of what may await you out there. <laughs> now... It's high time we were heading back. I'm sure your mother is eager to hear how things went, young man. Don't keep poor Amber in suspense. Yeah, we'll do the autoplay cutscenes. There's no reason for me not to. Come on, you. Home time. It just makes it easier. It's one less button for me to push every now and then. Sparkly spots. Sparkly spots on the ground are a sure sign of... Items just asking to be found. That's all you need to know. Fuck off, loser. This game looks so much better on the PS4. 
Coming of Age. Awarded for ascending to the top of Cobblestone Core and completing the ceremony that signifies the onset of adulthood. Woo, we're home! And I will spin in celebration! God, he's got sick pirouette game. This hero thing doesn't work out. He could always be like a professional ballerina of some sort. Or a dancer. Look at him go. What's up, man? You see those six spins? So the ceremony's all done. Congratulations. Now, uh, don't tell me you've forgotten where you live and all the excitement. Because I have, actually. <laughs> Just follow the paving stones. You'll soon find your way back. Oh, but you must be tired to... <laughs> oh, you, but you must be tired to be forgetting that. You should head home and put your feet up. Yay. Let's head home because plot progression is necessary. This is Cobblestone. It's a cute little village in the mountain. I like it. It looks quaint. I'd chill here. The, when he's not sprinting, the MC main character, I mean, his arms look, he looks like he's swinging his arms too wide. Look at that. That's silly looking. That's not how you walk. But when he's sprinting, it kind of makes sense. Where, where do you live? Where's your home? I forgot. It's been a while. It's been a few years since I played 11. Woof, woof. Hey, look, it's Sandy. Again, the dog knows where we're going more than we do. But, uh, speaking of jumping secrets, I'm jumping at this secret. Can I get to that one yet? Oh, shit. Well, there's no fall damage, so that's good. I will admit, the game totally will not let you jump to some places it seems like you could. Because there's some jumps it seems like you can make, but when you go to jump them, your character does some sort of like little slide instead of jumps, like that. Instead of jumping up, he like jumped down. It's like, wh why can't I jump off that one particular ledge? And it's because, I guess, they don't want you to get onto that roof except for the, the, the way they want you to. That pissed me off a lot in this game. More than it should have. Because I kept trying to jump to roofs and stuff, and it's like, nope, gonna jump straight down. It just it just got old. It made me really not want to jump. Like, yeah, you can see he's jumping straight up. And then, yeah, he does that little like, short hop shit, and it's so annoying. Why give me the option of jumping? Why not just make it a command prompt then? Here's my little soldier. Well, not so little anymore. I've heard all about your big adventure. Look at you, all grown up. I hope he wasn't too much of a bother, Gemma dear. <laughs> of course not. Quite the opposite, in fact. <laughs> you would have been proud of him. We got attacked by a monster at the top of the tour, and I ended up hanging onto the edge of the cliff by my fingertips. I thought I was done for. But you'll never guess what happened next. That mark on his hand suddenly lit up, and a bolt of lightning hit the monster. What did you say? Have they never... That funny little mark? Lightning flying about the place? Goodness me. <laughs> Here I was, hoping he'd turn out nice and ordinary. But it seems his grandfather was right all along. <laughs> well, we've been putting this off for long enough now. You and me need to have a little talk. Here. This belongs to you. Is this the sex talk? I'm not ready for this. Ooh. Where does this go during the sex talk? Your grandfather asked me to give you it once you'd come of age and climbed the tour. truth is, there's something I've been keeping a secret all these years. Something I've never told another soul in the village. It's... how can I put this now? Um... well... he said you're... You're the reincarnation of the Luminary! Oh, don't ask me what the old fool meant, dear. I haven't got the foggiest. All I know is that your grandfather said you had a special destiny and that there was something you had to do. He said that when you came of age, 
You were to head <clears throat> north to the capital, up there in Heliodor, and show that necklace thingy to the king. He seemed to think that if you did that, all would become clear. Clear as mud, I shouldn't wonder. Anyway, the long and short of it is that if you want to find out what this is all about, you'll have to leave Cobblestone and head over to Heliodor. Crikey. <laughs> well, I can't stop you leaving, I'm sure, but you won't be marching on an empty stomach. Come on, dinner. Yeah, McSquee, you said it. it this is a <laughs> little bit similar to the opening to Wind Waker. In uh, quite a few ways. The reincarnation of the Luminary. Levin tries his hardest to sleep, but he's too confused by everything he's learned and excited about his coming trip. Eventually. It is a little Wind Waker, but you know what? That's fine. I love Wind Waker. Wind Waker is good stuff. Hey, what can I, what can I take from here? Because I need everything I can get. Because I'm about to go on big boy adventure. I should have phrased it differently. Ooh, pot. Give me that. Fuck this pot. Ten gold. Neato. Is there anything else? Nope. You climb the village mountain then with a girl, get attacked by a bird. Yeah, that's fair. Also, the cell shading. The grandfather. It's it's it is a little bit Wind Waker, but eh, don't worry. It's it's good. It's good Wind Waker. It's good. Having trouble sleeping, are we? Well, it's no surprise after all the excitement today. And your big news. Whenever I have trouble nodding off, I like to go for a little walk. The night air always does me a power of good. When I am tired, I like to break things. To vent my anger and sexual frustration. That gives me the power I need to sleep. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. I did see a sparkly up here though, so I'm gonna go I'm gonna go get that. Give me them shiz. Medicinal herb. Who's putting herbs on roofs? Who, who? Oh, that stupid little short hop pisses me off. Ugh. It's annoying. Can I leave? I want to go on my big adventure. Out for a little evening stroll, are we? Well, make sure you don't stay out, uh, stray outside the village. There will be monsters. I'm. Yeah, I can be. I can beat monsters. I can be monsters. I want to be monsters. I'm going to become one. That is my goal. My destiny. A stick. Why do I need a stick? I have a sword. I already have the upgrade. Eh, it's fine. Whatever. I can sell it. Or I can use it for various other fun activities, like pinata, or throwing a stick. Or holding a stick. It's got a million uses. <laughs> I just, I was just here. Oh, there we are. There's Plot Woman. Oh, can't sleep either, eh? You remember this tree, don't you? I got my scarf stuck in it all those years ago. There I was, crying like mad, and there you were, running round trying to help me get it down. <laughs> Some things never change, eh? Yeah, you're still a useless... You know, I always imagined we'd spend our whole lives right here in Cobblestone. That's why I was so surprised by what your mum said today. All that stuff about you being the luminary, that reincarnation thing. <sighs> I remember the story my granddad told me. Once upon a time, long, long ago, the world was terrorized by a horrible monster. But then, the luminary appeared and saved the day. When it was all over, the luminary turned into a star. 
and he's been watching over us from up in the heavens ever since. That's his star, right there. Looks ominous. As most stars do. To someone who has a fear of space. How can you be the luminary too? I, I just don't get it. I know. That's what you're going to Heliodor to find out. I understand. Really, I do. Listen, we should both be getting back. Everyone will be wondering where we've got Fine, they'll to. just assume we're having sex. It's, it's okay. We both know we're not. Goodbye, old friend. Oh, well, that killed the mood. <laughs> I didn't know the hero was Scottish. He's Scottish. Is he? Exhausted after his long day of breaking women's hearts, Levin finally falls into a restless slumber. Then morning comes. Is he Scottish? I don't remember. It has been it has been a while since I've played this. <laughs> Do you know Jim is pregnant? <laughs> oh, I guess he is from a Scottish village. That's fair. It's okay, he doesn't speak, so it doesn't matter. He could be like he could have a French accent for all we know. Well, just look at you. You don't scrub up too bad, you know. Only wish your grandfather were here to see you. You won't forget him, will you? He was a fine, upstanding man, the pride of the village. You could do worse than try to be like him. Well, however you turn out, I'm sure you'll find a way to overcome whatever lies ahead. A mother knows these things. Oh, by the way, I popped a little money I'd saved for a rainy day in your pack. Don't spend it all at once. Why don't you visit the village shop before you head off to Heliodor? You'll need some supplies for your big adventure. I'm about some chocolate. But don't take too long. The whole village is turning out to wave you off. <laughs> now that I think about it, you do hear the hero speak at one point. When he's a child. Like, there's one scene where he's like a, a little babby. And he speaks to his grandfather, and it's like... That's weird. I don't like hearing the main character speak. I, it, it's odd. I don't know. I'm so used to them not doing that, that when they do, it's like, oh. Ooh. What? It wasn't like it was bad voice acting. It was just like, that's not... That's not how I... That's not how Levin is supposed to sound. Even as Babby. Who do this? God, my throat hurts. This was a mistake. <laughs> My throat is so tired. So you're leaving old cobblestone, are ya? Well, make sure you've got all the essentials before you set off. Like for one, chocolates, two, coffee, three, toilet paper. Uh, what else do you need? Uh, cypress sticks. Uh, pot lids. You know, all the important essentials. Also, I you can choose between swords and great swords for the main character. I go with I go with uh, just swords because he can only use two weapons: swords, great swords. That's it. There's not much variety for his weapon choices. It's kind of lame, honestly. But eh, what can you do? Also, if you go with single, single. If you go with swords. You can eventually unlock the ability to dual wield, which is pretty neat. I like that. I'm going to I'm going to dual wield the hell out of some swords. Because that sounds fun. And it is. Where do I leave? How do I leave? Oh, I have to leave in a very specific way. That's that's right. I have to go this way. Oh, oh, oh. I wasn't paying attention. And that's where the hero broke his leg and his journey was postponed for at least two months. So this is it. My little soldier's really leaving. You might not be back for a while. Hope you've said all your goodbyes. Uh, you ready? Yes. Well, 
Off you go then. One day you're just a little boy. The next you're getting ready to leave us. I only wish your grandfather could see what a fine young man you've become. <laughs> to think, it's been so many years already since old Chalky found you floating thin in... <laughs> what do you mean? Since he brought you to Cobblestone. We never thought there was anything out of the ordinary about you. And now suddenly there's all this talk of luminaries of all things. You know who the luminary was, of course. A legendary hero who saved the world from a terrible darkness. <laughs> We're supposed to believe that you're him reincarnated? <laughs> I don't doubt old Chalky, of course, but it is a little hard to swallow, I must say. Oh, when you meet the King of Heliodor, put in a good word for old Cobblestone, won't you, eh? <laughs> If he finds out this is the village where the luminary was raised, there might be something in it for us, <laughs> if you catch my drift. Oh, you are terrible. Trust you to be thinking about what you can get out it of It looks like his eyebrows connect to his sideburns. Oh, he doesn't have sideburns. He just has huge eyebrows. And of course, the very thought. Anyway, where was I? I don't like the autoplay text. Ah, yes. No. The fate that awaits you may well be one beyond anything we simple country folk can imagine. But you must allow us to offer what little assistance we can. Take this map of Erdria with you. May it prove useful in finding your way. And also a horse. A a ho I don't use the horse very much. And may this magnificent steed, the pride of cobblestone, lighten your burden and speed you on your way. You'll find Heliodor easily enough. Just head north out of the village and follow your nose. <laughs> you travel safely now. Oh, you're such a good boy. Such a good boy. You make us proud out there, won't you? And come back safe. Yeah, I remember almost never using the horse. I don't know why. I just I just didn't like the horse. Wait. Here. Take this with you. I I made it for you. Jimmy's charm keep you safe. I heard there are lots of monsters where you're going. Be sure to keep it close, won't you? Oh, I don't know what's in store for you out there, but wherever you go and whoever you meet, don't... don't forget us. I will never you? forget you, Jenna. <laughs> Take care, and remember, we'll be waiting for you. You can ride a lot of different monsters and stuff in the first game, too, or the original version. But they weren't, like, mounts you can ride around the entire world. Like, you don't switch out mounts, like equipment or something. You would find a mount in an area, ride it, and it would give you access to one or two particular spots in that area. But you wouldn't take it with you to the world map or anything like that. Horses are incredible, because they go zoom, And you can summon them with a bell. The horse is fast, though, and don't get me wrong, I do like that. She basically just said she's going to save her virginity for you. Sorry, my heart sit on someone else. <laughs> Sorry, Jenna, you're going you're gonna to be waiting a long time in that case. I could be fighting mobs and whatnot around this area, but eh, I'm good. Let's just go. Let's get going. Let's get this game underway.
Ooh, shit, that's a cruel cumber. You know what? I want to fight that. Because they're, uh, they're silly looking. Look at them. Ugh. That actually looked really painful. Of, of course it did. He got stabbed in the face by a spear. Little bitch. Is it just me, or is the... Is Levin more vocal in this version? Because I remember the original, he didn't make, like, any noises. Or am I just remembering wrong? He seems... Really... He seems to be screaming and grunting more, but... I could just be imagining that. I don't know. Ooh, a chest. I don't need the horse. Horse horse can go. I want, I want to look around the map and pick up stuff. Ooh, a seed of life. Neat. That's a good find. I could not tell you. That's fair. Yeah, you haven't played this. I'm more just talking to myself. I do that a lot because I'm lonely. <laughs> I don't like fighting the bunny corns because they're cute and I feel bad. It's like fighting slimes. Who the fuck are they going to harm? Okay, actually, the bunny corns are actually really... Uh... They're actually kind of dangerous. Slimes, though, they're just they're just chilling. Well, they're soft bodies. They don't want to hurt nobody, probably. Well, kind of, they do. Man, the increased battle speed is just a godsend. That should be an option in every RPG. Like, why isn't it? It's so good. Oh, wait. Oh, hold on a second. Hello, portly man. Ooh, what have we here? I know a budding adventurer when I see one. It can be risky heading into the great outdoors if you aren't familiar with the basics of survival, you know. Well, fear not, because that's where I come in. See the remains of that fire over there? Well... When you spy one of those, it means you can set up camp and rest your weary bones. To settle down for the night, just go up to the fire and examine it. You'll soon be enjoying a well-earned break. What's that? You're worried about being attacked by monsters while you sleep? Oh, ye of little faith. That statue over there is chock full of holy powers that'll keep the beasties at bay for as long as you need. How convenient. And that's not all. You can pray to it to be cured of poison and all kinds of other things. Think of it as a mini church. Anyway, enough of my yammering. Why don't you take a closer look at all this camping kit for yourself? You'll need to get used to what campsites look like and how to find them. After all, you'll be relying on them whenever you're out in the wilderness. It's like my old dad always said. Keen campers can continue on where others can't. Be prepared. Well, that's all from me. If you have any camping-related queries, feel free to ask. I'm here all the time. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. I'll play this for like another uh, 30 minutes to an hour, maybe. This wasn't going to be a long stream to begin with. I did stream earlier for fucking four hours. My throat does hurt. Like, I've, like I'm gargling glass. I'm going to break this gentleman's pots to get alchemy ingredients. I hope that's okay. Rule one of camping. Rob everyone. Rule two. Run fast from the police. Rule three. Repeat rules one and two. And now we can save. <clears throat> also, sometimes when you set up camp, there's just a dude here. Just chilling. Like, hey, I'm going to sell you stuff and watch you guys sleep and rest. Is that okay? Is that fine? I hope it's fine, because I, you can't tell me no. Let's rest until dawn. Yeah, camp is where you can rest and... Feel and 
use your little... It's called the fun-sized forge. You use it to craft things. It's your alchemy pot. That's what it is. Seeing if there's anything that looks like it might have items or something. I don't think I can go this way. Also, these little fellas just appear. Don't worry about them. They're fine. They're good. Can I go this way? I guess I can. Let's see what's over here. I think it's the coast. Ooh, give me that. Good shiz. I need those. Good thing I just happen to have a pickaxe on hand. It's part of camping. Always carry a pickaxe. You never know when you're going to need it. I couldn't think of a clever joke because I'm an idiot, but I tried my best. You know what? That's what counts. Except it never, ever does. <laughs> don't, don't mind me. I'm going to keep on swootying this way. Jump! Oops. Was not paying attention. Again, look at this thing. I don't want to fight this thing. It's cute. I want to be its friend. I want to give it, like, gumdrops and, and hang with it. We can eat brownies and, like, watch TV. I'm like, whoa. Did you see what Rebecca did? That bitch. She's cheating on Justin. And then then, then we're friends, I guess. I, I don't know what the fuck show we're watching, but whatever. I didn't pick it. He did. <laughs> Flintstone looks like a bean in this game. Every time I see it, it looks like a licorice-flavored jelly bean. Also, I hate licorice. I don't, I don't like it. It tastes like plastic to me. It's gross. Is that, anyone else agree with that? Licorice just does not gel with me. It's weird. Maybe it's just because I'm so used to candy tasting like fruit. Or, well, some, some sort of weird hodgepodge of chemicals that somewhat simulates the taste of fruit. That's what I'm used to. What, what are you fellas? I don't remember you. Who the fuck are Rebecca and Justin? They're from the show. You know the one. The one that everyone's watching on CBS or ABC or other news, not news, other TV station. You know the one. It's all the rage with viewers of our age range. This is not a promoted stream. They're not paying me money to promote their show. Uh, big, big dicks and wet sticks on MTV. What are you talking about? What am I talking about? Again, most of these monsters just look like friendly little Pokemon. I don't want to fight them. Oh, there's definitely items over here. Maybe not. I thought there was items over here. This looks like the place where you could find items. I have found an item. It's a cotton top. I'll take it, I suppose. Yeah, this is a... This is a pretty big world for a Dragon Quest game. It's not exactly open world by any means, but... It's still big. There's plenty to look around and see and explore. There's plenty of monsties to shove sharp sticks into. That's fun. That's always a blast. Yeah, he's totally talking and making way more noises than he did in the original. Yo, it's a platypunk. That's his name? Yeah, platypunk. It's a... Uh, it's this thing. I don't know how to describe this. Yes, I do. It's a platypus. Quandary solved. How are we doing on health? Ah, uh, he's fine. Arrowing? I got that from a tree? Well, I guess birds live in trees, so that, that 
It adds up. The math adds up. Again, I'm not even... I'm not even bothering with the horse. It just... Makes it harder to pick things up. Because you can't pick things up while you're on the horse, I believe. So I just kind of don't. Like, look at this. I wouldn't have gotten these... Oh. Whoops, I wasn't paying attention. If I was on the horse, I wouldn't have been able to get these... Coffee cherries, they look like. Ow, bitch. That does a lot of damage. Well, if this does not kill him, I'm fucked. Actually, you know what? No, I'm not gonna... Ooh. Frizz, because I'm desperate. I should heal. Okay, good. Also, I should equip this. I don't know why I'm not. It's just one extra defense. But here we go, harvest. A cotton top. Medicinal herbs. A cotton top. Neat. Those will come in handy later. Maybe. Anyway, this looks like a town. Much too big to be a village. Let's check it out. Oi. Although, honestly, I think I'm going to go find a church and save. I want to stream longer. I, I, I don't think I can. My throat, man. Stop spinning, child. You will fall. You will become injured. And then you will become food. You cannot spin as well as I can. Give up. Your dreams are moot. Levin's just so damn excited. Look at him go. He's ready to start his big adventure. But he just can't seem to grab the sword off his back. Okay, I'm done. I'm sorry. That was really stupid, but, you know, that's my forte. Is there a church here? There's got to be a church here. This place is massive. Look at it. This will be fun to explore. There's a... There's an inn... Is there not a map? Oh, wait. Here's a church. Again, it's a short stream. Only an hour, but hey. The game runs. It looks passable for a Switch game. And it's more Dragon Quest. It's good stuff. But I've, I, I've got to take a break. So, yeah. I... Okay, yeah, real quick. Normally, I would say, yes, I prefer the PS4 version. But this has a whole bunch of extra stuff. Like, it develops... Apparently has a whole bunch of extra story stuff for the characters. And you can visit, like, other Dragon Quest worlds and stuff. So you should get this one, because it has more stuff in it. And also, apparently, it looks good in handheld mode. This is docked mode. But... Uh, docked mode does not look... It looks a little bit crusty. Does it look that much worse? It's not that much worse. Like, I wouldn't put an emphasis on the word that, but it's definitely noticeable. Not to the point it's going to ruin the game by any means. It still looks good. I just wish they added the bonus stuff to the PS4 version. I mix I think you should still get this one. Again, portable is always great, especially for an RPG. That means you can grind on the toilet or like on your commute or like when you're on a break at work or whatnot. All of the extra stuff for the characters because that's important. You're going to end up, well, it's going to be your party. You're going to want to know like more about who they are, their backstories and whatnot. So I think this is the better version. Just, you know, if you can go for handheld mode. Anyway, I've got to go. My throat is on fire. So thank you guys for popping by. Fun talking to you again, McSquee. 
I'm going to rest. Peace.